Hey guys, it's me, Ronald Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And initially, the hot spot is going to be the Pacific Northwest, BC, Banff, Northern Idaho, and Northwest Montana. And then it's going to shift south. But that's where we're going to start out. And that is Whistler Blackcomb, where it is snowing right now. We may have some snow level issues with the best snow of mid mountain and higher at times, but that moisture will then all be moving east into Schweitzer where you will have snow. You're one of my spots to watch and also up in Whitefish, Montana. Nothing going on right now, but you've got snow coming this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, Tuesday, probably Wednesday as well. Same for Revelstoke. You've got more snow coming. It's just a matter of waiting it out and it'll it'll be coming in. Let me show you the pattern on infrared satellite. So here's your storm track basically doing this right now up and around. So it's guiding all of the moisture in this sort of fashion up into BC and then eventually as this storm track continues to shift south it will drag that moisture plume south so between now and the third the place to be Pacific Northwest BC northern Idaho northwest Montana after the third the storm track shifts even further to the south and that will drag the moisture down through the rest of Idaho Wyoming Utah Colorado California and New Mexico let me show you how this looks on the um, the GFS model here, its interpretation. So by the time we get into Monday morning, it's all the Pacific Northwest. You can see where the action is, Northern Idaho, Northwest Montana. Same for Tuesday morning, same for Wednesday morning. Now, this is Thursday morning the third. Things start to shift south. Look at that, California now gets some moisture. And then by the morning of the fourth, it's moving into the rest of Idaho, the Tetons, Big Sky, Utah, Colorado into the 5th. This is Saturday, the morning of the 5th. Snow sliding through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and then out. There's another little storm behind it for the 5th into the 6th. You can see that. That's Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, Wyoming. That moves out. Here's the morning of the 7th. Another little storm diving down through California. That rounds the horn. And by the time we get into the 8th, it slides into the Intermountain West. So while it's quiet, across the Intermountain West now, that will be changing after the third with all of this and the storm track moving in at that period. So here are my totals. All of today through the third, you can clearly see where the best snow is. It's all in the Pacific Northwest, BC, uh, Banff, into Northern Idaho, Northwest Montana. Those are the places to be through the third. And then after the third, look at it shift. The door opens and it's the rest of Idaho down into the rest of Montana and the Tetons, the Wasatch, parts of California, nothing huge for California, but maybe up to eight inches, and then in Colorado and New Mexico. So, um, and we could be looking at six to 14 inches in a lot of those places in Utah, Colorado, and northern New Mexico. So outstanding. Once we get past the third, the pattern will start to shift. Here's my snow plume for Schweitzer. I like Schweitzer. You can see we could have a foot of snow in Schweitzer between the 28th, the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, maybe another inch down the road on the 6th. Uh, again, we may have some rain snow or high snow level issues at times, so mid-mountain and higher will have the biggest totals and the best consistency of snow. Um, so my numbers for the Northeast look like this. The problem here is you're going to have two or three clippers, but only light minor accumulations of snow through the 6th. There might be a larger storm for next weekend, but it looks warm at that point. So I wouldn't put any money on that storm just yet. Um, but through the 6th, the amounts are not huge at this point. So again, let me take you back. The initial phase of this through the 3rd um, favors the Pacific Northwest. And Baker, Stevens, Whistler, I mean Rainier. Uh, on a side note, I'm forecasting about 5 feet of snow for Rainier, you know, above uh, Muir. So it's going to be... It's going to be some big snow on Rainier. And then you've got some really nice totals. Go Ski, Red Mountain, Fernie, Revelstoke, Sunshine, Marmot Basin, Schweitzer, and Whitefish. Those are all the places to hit through the third. And then after that, like I was saying, um, the emphasis will shift as the door opens for the rest of the west. I'd watch the Wasatch. Uh, I'd watch Colorado, especially across the western slope and southern mountains of Colorado. I think a lot of those areas, because of where the trailing lows are coming from, it could favor the western and southwest parts of Colorado down the road, even beyond the 6th. So those are the, the places I would keep an, keep an eye on for sure. 
and then again in the northeast there's just nothing big unfortunately down the road so there you go that's my forecast and that'll take us all the way out through the sixth always appreciate you guys tuning in here find some good powder and have a uh, good rest of the weekend take care